Good afternoon, interactors. It is so delightful to see you all here this afternoon. I'd love to show my face, but I am at work. So just, you know, you can see my, my, my visual Rotary Club of Nassau for the moment, okay? But it's good to see your faces. You all look like you're very eager to, to work with Interact and to take on these, these roles and positions. So we will now um, get started. Um, our moderators for this afternoon will be the Anastasia Hutchinson, who is the secretary, and Andre Morley, who is a member of the Interact Club. So take it away. Good morning, everyone. I want to first start off by sharing a scripture and a quote that I came across. And the scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 25, verse 35. And it says, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And the quote says, I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and saw that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. My name is Deanastasia Hutchinson and I, along with Andre Morley, will be your moderators for today. Today we are having the R.M. Bailey Senior High School Interact Club Induction Ceremony. We will learn on the club's history. We will reflect on some activities and events that we've held so far. And at the end, we'll have an amazing speaker come and talk to us. But before we get into that, we must give reverence to God. So the first voice you will be hearing is from Ms. Melissa Jean, who will lead us in a word of prayer. Okay, eyes closed. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your many blessings you have upon our life, for God. We pray that you continue to bless us, you continue to guide us, you continue to strengthen us as a club and as a family, oh God. We pray that our future endeavors are graceful and they are fun. And we know uh, as we end this year off, oh God, we know that the next year will be fun and be as ex exciting and all ever to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Melissa Jean, for that awesome prayer. And to you, Anastasia, for that wonderful introduction. Continuing with the program, you will now have a toast, immediately followed by Leah Duvenor and Judy Thompson with the welcome, after which we will learn history on the club by Miss Francina Benevy. All right, good afternoon again. I am Chantel Nesbitt, the Secretary-Elect, Rotary Club of Nassau. Please, I guess, raise your cups or your glasses that you have and we will raise a toast to the Queen and the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. The Queen and Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Senior Mistress Cheval Hepburn, President Stephen Dean, and all yes, of the members of the Rotary Club of the of R. Senior High School, and all of the other special guests that are present here for this auspicious occasion. My name is Junie Thompson, and I, along with Leah Dubinar, are here to welcome you. Leah, what are we going to be doing? Well, Judy, in my research, due to what I learned, in Tibet, they welcome each other by sticking up their tongues. I don't think we're going to be doing that. In France, they air kiss on the cheek. I don't think that is advisable either. And in New Zealand, they rub noses. How endearing. And in some countries, people just sell for a good old handshake. But all of that requires physical contact. We can't do that because one, we are to social distance due to the health protocol established. And two, well, this is a virtual ceremony. I know, right? The best way to greet people and welcome them without any physical contact is with a smile. Should me on count of three, let's give our audience our biggest smile ever. One, two, three. Smile. We hope that our smiles made you smile and hope you feel more relaxed and welcome throughout the rest of this program. Good afternoon. The Rotary Club of Nassau is the founding Rotary Club in the Bahamas, having been chartered on January 19, 1962. 
We are a dynamic service club made up of local professionals, part of the well-known and respected Rotary International Organization, consisting of a global network of 1.2 million Rotarians from 200 countries and geographical areas, aiming collectively to positively impact lives around the world. Rotary volunteers undertake community service projects under the model Service Above Self. Rotary Club of Nassau started an Interact Club at Oran Bailey Senior High School over 30 years ago. Interact Clubs perform at least two projects a year, with one servicing the community and the other furthering international understanding. More importantly, the Interact Club is self-supporting and self-governing, thus encouraging the development of leadership skills. Despite the many challenges as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, the interactors at Oran Bailey Senior High School did their best to fulfill the goals set by the district. I am proud to commend the interactors for participating in virtual events such as the online reading cafe, virtual career fairs, district Ryla conference, prepared conference, and many others. As the youth chairs, as the youth services chair, I wish to thank all Rotarians who supported Interact over the course of the year, the advisors who did a fantastic job and the interactors who gave, who have proven that they are students of action. As we say in Rotary, together we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities and in ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Benedy, for our wonderful history about the club. And now I wanna share a little interesting fact that my advisor shared with me. And she said that, did you know that just talking the plants and interacting with plants, you can actually help them grow and nourish? And I thought that was very interesting because usually we pass by plants and think nothing of them. And sometimes we even forget that they're actually living organisms and we think of them as inanimate objects, but that's not true. And it was so funny how just talking the plants, you can actually help them grow. So take a moment to realize what happens when we talk to an actual human being, when we talk to them, when we interact with them, when we engage in conversation with them, to show them that we care and to show them that we love them. A lot more things happen than we realize. So now coming to share some times that we've talked to other people to show them that we care is Lise Joseph, Karen Simeon, Lashawn Roll and Christina Fernander. Good afternoon. My name is Lise Joseph, president of the Interact Club 2021. I will be talking about our kindness project. What is kindness? Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. When Mrs. Bach gave the idea of kindness challenge, as president I taught, what a great idea to help and show kindness within the community. An act of kindness don't have to be big or extravagant. The little things you do goes a long way. During the challenge, I was able to clean a nearby church before service the next morning. And I was able to clean my mom's car without having her to ask me or pay me. I felt so happy seeing the members at church entering a clean building with a nice scent. Same as my mom seeing the surprising look and smile on her face. Most members at the, at the Rotary Club also participate in the challenge, but as a group, we work together to distribute Easter baskets and give Christmas letters to teachers. Me personally, writing my letter to my teacher felt so wholesome because she deserved it and she worked hard for it. It was such a great experience to see member, the members and I serving in the community. Being part of the Rotary Club for only one year so far, I would definitely do this challenge again. It brings out smiles and positive energy in our community. Thank you. So, hey, Karen. Hi, my name is Karen Simeon, and I am the Assistant Fundraiser Director of the Rotary Club of RMB Lee, but we're actually an interact club, but we're sponsored by the Rotary Club. And today, I just want to give you a brief recap of the Mentor March, okay? It all started from the moment Mershba mentioned meant to march. This meant we would be mentoring every Saturday of the month of March for 30 minutes. We had a choice on whether or not we could do it. 
At first, I said no. But then a crazy thought popped in my head. Maybe I should do it. I went online and did some research on what mentorship is. I realized how difficult it could be. Yet, I told Ms. Barr I would do it. Further on, Ms. Barr informed us that we needed training and she would have someone come in and speak to us. Then we came to school and our guidance counselor informed us of do's and don'ts in mentorship. I am very grateful for the information she instilled on in us that day and also the tremendous help Ms. Barr gave us. She, she supplied us with many guidelines like games, activities, and, and what mentorship was truly all about. Of course, we were only one step ahead though. We still had to find out who we were mentoring and who would be controlling and hosting the Zoom sessions and further on. After equipping us, Ms. Ba sent us out on our journey. We started our first meeting on Saturday at 12 o'clock. However, 30 minutes prior to each meeting, we will always check to see if we were well groomed, prepared, and had good lighting. Later on, as the mentees filled the Zoom call, they began to split us up. The first day was basically all about setting the foundation. This meant trying to get to know our mentees. We played Would You Rather and other games to get to learn them better. The next Saturday, Ms. Barr gave us an excellent idea to dress up as any characters with our mentees. It was hilarious. I also decided that day I would want to have a dance breakout. The funny thing is, I didn't know how to share a screen at first to play the music. So my mentee, Leah Whitehead, she taught me. Yep, that's right. An 11 year old taught me how to share a screen. She also taught me on the last date that Minecraft was not just a game, but it's actually a video game. She allowed me to read some of her stories and we both, we both took turns reading her Halloween narrative piece. The whole time I was reading, I was extremely shocked. She is so talented. The third Saturday we had a scavenger hook and we had to find many interesting items. In just 30 seconds, we were running all over the place. Consequently, our last meeting came. And so I wanted to make it a pleasing memory. I decided that I would make the whole last session about her. I thanked her and her mom for allowing me to mentor her daughter and making the effort each Saturday to join the calls. In addition, we took some virtual pictures by using screenshots of each other with the permission of her mother. Then we did our final activities and said goodbye. Throughout every Saturday, I didn't just want to play games with her, but also encourage it each time by either complimenting her or giving her any motivational quotes. There was so much we did in a total of two hours we spent together, but each, each minute made it a, one of the greatest experiences of my Good afternoon, my name is Deshaun Rule, and today I will be presenting Reflection 2. Despite the many ups and downs that the Interact Club faced, we were able to overcome and become victorious. Upon the club being established, the executive board along with Mrs. Barr, our club advisor, had to come up with a few ideas for the club so that we can make money and put it into our treasury. A few of the ideas that we came up with were candy apples, cakes, and cupcakes. However, choosing the candy apples were very risky for us young teenagers to assemble due to the heat and hot oil. But did we stop there? No, we didn't. We decided to sell cakes, but the opinion from the other board members was not successful. We finally made a decision to sell cupcakes, but we had to strategize a great marketing plan to gain a profit from what we sold. As a fundraising director, it was my duty to get on board and put together ideas that I knew was going to help the club flourish. Mrs. Barr reached out to a few chefs to see if they can partner with us to provide the cupcakes for us. While seeking assistance, we did not get clearance from the chef until last minute. 
Friday, February 19, 2021, I received a call from Mrs. Barr stating that the chef responded back to us. Mrs. Barr and I were astonished by the news. While I was in the excitement, there were permission letters sent out. Even though we had gotten permission to come, we even had a major problem finding transportation to get us to and from the restaurant. But at the last minute, God really came through for the club. We didn't have to pay anything for transportation. On February 22nd, 2021, the Interact Club of r and Bailey hosted its first fundraiser at Sapodilla West Bay Street, Nassau, Bahamas. The first fundraiser was a cupcake sale. The cupcakes were sponsored by amazing chef Edwin Johnson and Chef Faraji. In total, 100 cupcakes were distributed. Each cupcake was sold for $3. Upon meeting the chefs, we took a few pictures and got a talk to the restaurant. It felt like we were tourists just visiting the Bahamas for the first time. During the tour, we were taken to the restaurant's garden where all of their fruits and vegetables were grown, such as pepper grass tea, tomatoes, and onions were grown. Chef Johnson taught us table etiquette and how to sit and eat, what utensils we use to eat certain dishes, and the list goes on. We also got a chance to view the swans and feed them, which made it fun and engaging. Looking at the smiles and laughs of everyone made me really feel good to know that everyone is having a great time, despite being in the COVID environment. The interactors surprisingly came into contact with a lady of the name Elaine Pinder. Ms. Pinder gave the interactors a few words of encouragement and letting us know that whatever we want in life, to go after it and don't let the words about this stop us. By saying that to us, she shared her story with us, informing us that people told her that opening a, a chicken shack was not a great idea because others were doing the same thing as are wanting to. But she did not let the words of others get in the way of success. She is now the proprietor of all the Bamboo Shack restaurant in the Bahamas. Her words motiv made, motivated me to go after my dreams and pursue them. She also took photos with us. The fundraise for this event accumulated $300. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that took part in this event and went the extra mile by selling the cupcakes. I appreciate you all for bringing in the funds that was raised. Once again, thank you, and I look forward to another fundraiser with you. Good afternoon, members of the Interact Club. My name is Christina Fernando from R. and Bailey Senior High School, here to briefly give a reflection of my time spent at Vision Expo. If you ask me how my time at Interact Club has been, I can say without a doubt, it has been splendid. One evening after my BGCSE classes, I volunteered to Vision Expo, where I met a number of in individuals from all different career backgrounds. Our main purpose were to help the needy. I had a number of jobs like sanitizing the area, interacting with the kids, with social distancing, of course, instructing individuals to their seatings and many more. All in all, the experience of helping others was great. My life was impacted in a number of ways. While interacting with the people, I realized that I have so much to be thankful for. This experience was an amazing one and it exemplified the theme to the T, service above self. Oftentimes, we tend to only think of ourselves and disregard everyone else, but being in the Interact Club taught me otherwise. Now, I volunteer more and give back in many ways. The Vision Expo, to me, was a huge success, and I hope to be a part of it again next year. God's willing. Thank you. Thank you for those reflections. You can't control how other people receive your energy. Anything you do or say gets filtered through the lens of whatever personal circumstance they are going through at the moment, which isn't about you. Just continue doing your thing with as much integrity and love as possible. Unknown. Hence, don't be so quick to judge when a situation may arise regarding your cares, but be understanding and uplifting. Be the water that outs that tormenting flame. Time for the main course. Lights, camera, action. Coming now to enlighten us with words of encouragement is none other than Mr. Stephen Dean, 
president of the Rotary Club of Nassau. However, just before we have the sound of his voice, I will have to introduce him. Mr. Stephen G. D., Security Consultant and Crime Prevention Specialist. Mr. Dean is a security consultant and crime prevention specialist with more than 30 years of experience in law enforcement. He has served in various ranks in the Royal Bahamas Police Force, rising from the rank of constable to senior assistant commissioner. During Mr. Dean's law enforcement career, he served in a variety of command positions to include major events coordinator, commander of several policing divisions on family islands, coordinator of the National Neighborhood Watch Program, coordinator of the National Urban Renewal Program, director of the National Crime Prevention Office, chief classroom instructor at the police college, coordinator of the Royal Bahamas Police Force Domestic, Domestic Violence Training Program, and the Royal Bahamas Police Force Communications and Public Affairs Officer. Upon retirement from the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Mr. Dean founded Dean's Global Security Consultants Limited, which provides security consultancy services, management and crime prevention training services to the public safety and private sector community. He's the holder of a Bachelor of Arts and Master's degree in business manage management. He's a certified professional manager, a certified domestic violence trainer, and a certified law ethics, law enforcement ethics trainer. His teaching assignments include a variety of management and criminal justice courses. Over his career span, Mr. Dean has participated in a number of local and international training courses. He is a member of the Rotary Club of Nassau, where he serves as president, National Institute of Ethics Trainers, International Society of Crime Prevention for Practitioners, the International Association of Chiefs of Police, a member of American Society for Industrial Security, and a member of Northwestern University Center for Public Safety Alumni Association, a Justice of the Peace in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, and a member of the Church of God of Prophecy, Mayo Street. Mr. Dean and his wife are the proud parents of two children. Without further ado, help me welcome the president of the Rotary Club, Mr. Stephen G. Dean. Well, well good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Excellent. I trust that you can hear, hear me, and I hope that all is going well. Um, based on what I'm seeing so far, I just feel like taking a relaxed mood and let y'all continue because the speeches and uh, it was so intriguing, you know, was so enlightening. It did good for my body, you know. Give me a, I will say, in a world of such negative happenings, where the youth is being castigated for many things and the good is not being celebrated. I'm so happy the positive effect of this event give me just a special spark and it give me a special spark and comfort to know that despite the day how youths are being, young people are being castigated and downplayed and not celebrated, um, you continue to shine your positive light. So I feel good about that. And it's against that backdrop that I want to come in to introduce. Um, you will find this will not be like the typical speaking engagement where you sit tight and you hear next this word and that. I will try to be, in the words of one of my friends, down home to your level, to our level, that we speak and have, we are having a conversation today. Um, so I am so delighted. Um, Ms. Barr, um, I really want to commend you for such an outstanding job and leading and steering the course and leading the troops. Um, I Students, I want to commend you for the wonderful job because all I've been here and some good things. I had the occasion, I think last year to visit or year before last to visit with you when you're doing some program. But I really want to commend you for the job that you are doing. And I want to tell you, despite the pandemic, um, the Rotary Club of Nassau have you all at heart. And so, Expect some great things coming in. I already feel the buzz of some great things is gonna happen in the new fall and the new year. So I want you really to be excited about it and tell somebody to join, you know, encourage people to join. So we are expecting some great things, you know, and you must know that Rotary, and I also want to commend um, Francina, who has been our liaison person from the club, who has been connecting with Ms. Barr and some of you all might have seen her. 
I really want to thank her, thank her for the job, the commendable she, she job done with keeping the fire alive, so to speak. Um, but students, you are the person without you, there would be no club, so to speak. So I'm really happy for what you have done. And based on the reports, I've been getting the reports. And I must tell you, and just how you give an overview of the projects that you were involved in, you know, whether it was the kindness project, whether it was the cupcake project, whether it was the mentoring project, whether it was the vision and health expo, health expo, I mean, you need to be really be need to commend, be commended for the outstanding job that you have done. And you you must understand. I must tell you, I'm so proud that we have Interactive Club and you have a sister club at CV Battle. And hopefully what we intend to do in the new year, that we will have the two clubs join together, you'll have an interaction or even have a club debate. Aaron Bailey against CV Battle, you know? And everybody, the winners went, go on a cruise. How that sound? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. So we look at, look at that. But you know, one of the most significant and fast and growing program in Rotary Service, I must tell you, you must be glad to be a part of it with more than 10,700 clubs in the world and, and more than, in, in more than 109 countries um, that will be in geographical interact has been the worldwide phenomenon. phenomenon. Almost 200,000 young people are involved. So among the 200,000 and it's growing more, um, since our last statistics, um, I'm sure we're up to close to 300,000 now. And it's all because of Iron Bailey and CV Bailey and the Bahamas. Um, good. So we're really happy for you. But the question is, a lot of people still, although you might be an interact club, what really it is? Is it just for us to get together? Is it just for us just to make a grade? Is it just for us to just say at the end, I was involved in a service club and it helps me? Yeah, as a tick off. It has to be more than that. It has to be about service it's about love for people number one is about loving yourself it's about feeling proud of who you are feeling proud of who you are don't try to be like nobody else yeah you might not have the shape you might not have the style you might not have this be you i tell people when i look back at my life i don't want to be like nobody else if the good master tell me you want to come back in this world again, I say I want to come back as Stephen Dean. I want to go to the same primary school I went to because I love it. I want to go to the same high school. I hope some of you all don't want to switch it and say you all don't want to go to Aaron Bailey if you have that choice. <laughs> Ms. Bao won't be pleased with that. <laughs> all right. I want to go back to the same thing. I want to have the same children. I want to live the same place. I want to enjoy the same life because I feel that I am appreciative of life, appreciative of life. Because when you look back and see what some children are going to, they don't have the opportunity which you are having today. So that's one of the things I am thankful for life. To me, I had a good life. Yeah, I didn't think my parents then were strict. My parents then was a bit strict, you know, just to throw it back. I didn't grow up in a home with television. My parents them taught that that was the worst thing in the world to have television. So I had to wait till I finished high school, get a job to have a television in the house. All right. While all my some of my friends in the neighborhood had televisions, but that it was it. But I still want that life again where I didn't have no television. I still want to go to that one. All right. So it's about that. And then when you looked at, I'm just trying to develop this profile of the person who would want to get this so this type of club. You got to love people. You cannot be mad with yourself. You got to be happy about who you are. You got to be happy when you look in the mirror, girls and particularly the boys and everybody, when you look in the mirror, we say, good to go for school. I love her. I love him. Ain't nobody look like him. Ain't nobody look like me. That's me. I love me. All right. Now you might say, Stephen, then you should grow some more here. And maybe you should, I say, that's your, go to your friend and tell them how to grow here. I'll just cut mine much baller when you tell me, say, grow some more, all right? That's how I operate. So I feel good about my life. So you gotta get, what I'm trying to get you to do, develop a feel good spirit and feel proud about you. When you step in that RM Bailey uniform, man, you should feel good. You shouldn't be trying to change the shape when you get in the mall. You shouldn't be trying to change the into something else. I want them to know that I'm a 
proud student of the Aaron Bailey. And if they stop you now, you have another story. If they stop you, let me tell you something else. I'm in the Interactive Club of Aaron Bailey. That is the junior version of the Rotary Club. Do you know who the Rotary Club is? The Rotary Club is the number one service club in the world. There's no other service club like the Rotary. Many people wish they could be in the Rotary Club. So you could imagine how special you are, how blessed you are to be associated with the Rotary Club. Oh my goodness. I hope some of y'all get that. I hope some of y'all get that. So you are special. These are some of the things. I just want to bring some of these things to give you to uplift. I think I'm just here to uplift your spirit today. I had some notes written down, but I know where they are. All right. So I, I want to talk to you that you got to be a person that people feel proud of. That when you reach to school, if you late, when you walk in the classroom, they say, ah, we feel good. We feel good. We feel good. Andre Reach. Andre Reach. Daria Reach. Melusa Reach. LaShawn Royal Reach. I, you got to feel good. They shouldn't say, let's continue the class and pay no attention to you when you walk in. Man, when you walk in the class, it's supposed to stop. You hear that song say, stop the world? <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen to you. So you got to develop yourself to be like that. You got to love people. Love your classmates. Love people. Don't be careful of these clicks. Be careful of that. You don't know the person you helped today. You'll need them tomorrow. You just don't know how life spins. You just don't know how it takes you around. You just don't know. Okay? So get in that spirit of helping people. Get in good conversations. I love good conversations. I love positive things. If my friends weren't positive or going someplace, I don't want to be around them. Anyone who's my friend trying to achieve something. Anyone who's my friend trying to do this. So if you have friends in school now, tell them you can't be my friend unless you're in the entire club. Because that's something positive. That's something positive. You keep continue along this positive. And research has shown that children like yourself who continue to be in social programs, good programs in school, you're going to do extremely well. You're going to do extremely well when you finish school. You're going to do extremely well. All might not be able to go up to college. But you'll get there. You'll get there. But just feel good about who you are. Feel good about your environment. Feel good about your family. Feel good about your parents. Feel good about the class you in. Man, you should just love. You, you shouldn't be mad and upset when it's time to go to school. You should be so happy when I know I got to go. Aaron, man, it's time to go to school? What? What? My parents don't even have to wake me up because I love my RM Billy. I love it. And I can't wait to see Miss Barr. I'll be disappointed Ms. Barr don't show up to school today. All right? You don't get upset when you see Ms. Barr. You feel like smiling. Even if you felt bad. When you see Ms. Barr and you see that smile, you feel good. Because I show Ms. Barr I have a smile every day, right? Y'all ain't got an answer. All right? <laughs> but um, I'm just saying to you that you are in something great. You are onto something great. You could do so much wonderful things. You could do so much wonderful things as a youth group, you know, and the thing is, it's unlimited. I seen you all take the initiative to have a number of programs, but we're going to work with you to expand those programs. Trust me, this is going to be an exciting year coming on. So we didn't give you those t-shirts just to wear or to clean your car or to dust the furniture down with. We have a keep preserve those t-shirts. You're going to need those t-shirts. We're going to have a lot of programs coming up. A lot of programs are coming up and we're going to be talking about some things. Then we will have, you know, what I think they have a Ryla program where some of you go off and travel. So do good. You continue. because We'll look among the best among the group to say this is the group we'll sponsor to go on the trips, to go here. But we could do, it could better so. Some of y'all, we could arrange a family bar. We could arrange a weekend in the family island. We can do some down there, Zoomers. It's so much things. It is unlimited. The dimensions are unlimited. But you got to want to be. Ms. Barr shouldn't be forcing you to come to class, to, to the meetings. You're supposed to be in the meetings. Yeah, you shouldn't be saying you don't have nothing to do. Man, volunteer. 
do something. I want to see the interactors be alive around the Aaron Bailey School. Y'all are creating projects. Y'all are doing things that people are saying, what about this interact club? What about so special about them? You're going to show them that we are special. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are just a precious commodity. Oh, man, people should be so jealous of you all. He should be so enviable of yours, all right? So, because just how I look, look how I look. You see my hairstyle? You see how my hair look? You see my hair, how the boys? You see how well groomed I am? You say, man, come on, this, this is an example. My shoes always clean. And I might have an extra one in case I got to go to a special function, I can switch it, which is much cleaner, all right? So I just want you to be the best. I want you to feel proud have the best pens, have the best pencils, have the best everything. Just look good, feel good, but yourself. Don't put pressure on your parents this, fall, this summer. Now tell them you got Mr. Dan, say you must go get me the top class and the most sex. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. But I want you to, y'all, I think y'all get the message. Feel good about yourself. I tell people that I take what I call an immunization shot every day. So I take that immunization shot. So when I get around, nobody can get me upset. Nobody can cause me to do what else I don't want to do that day. I can have a good day. Every day, I want to have a good day. Yes, some things will happen. Our scientist tells us, as I close, that 12 days of the year can be bad days for everybody. 12 days. So I'm an, this is June now. I think I had four, all right? I got eight more to go, right? I had four bad days for the year. I got eight more, all right? And I'm working on that. <laughs> so you can, you can give yourself, so when the bad day comes, you say, that's one of them, what scientists say. So you, I don't know how much of y'all have, have, some of y'all might exhaust all 12, right? So, um, but that is important. I'm immune from certain things. So my immunization shot might be a prayer in the morning. It might be my little exercise in the morning. It might be my, just my little reading in the morning. So when I reach the school, I feel good. You're not going to cost me not to eat my lunch, all right? Oh, this girl make me mad. Yeah, throw this food away. I won't eat today. I feel like eating. I, man, look, I can just eat two more. I'll order an extra meal when they make me mad. All right? Because nobody should upset your day. Nobody should dictate. You choose to be mad. You choose not to work. You choose not to join the entire club. You choose not to help Ms. Barr. You choose not to help your, your presidents and the secretaries and the whole body. You that's a choice. So choose to do good. Choose to just be that good person. When everybody, be that person that, hey, when people come to you, they feel much better. Because some people you go around, you waste. You got to call an ambulance after you don't talk to them. Because they help you find the friends who can cause you to feel good with a positive thought. Always have a positive thought. And in taxes, you know what we used to do when I was in youth club? We used to challenge ourselves with a quote for the day. Now there, y'all on WhatsApp, send a quote for the day or a word for the day. So this is the word we want to learn. This is a new word we're going to learn today. Open up your vocabulary. This is the quote. This is the things we want to do. But I encourage you to do that, to feel the whole message I want you to do. Start feeling good about yourself. Love your name. Go into your passport and say, boy, I love this. Go, to, go find your birth certificate today. Tell your mommy, say, tell your ma, tell your pa, I will say something to you. Man, I so love how y'all give me this name. I so love what y'all did. I so love this. Start loving yourself. Start loving yourself. So feel good about yourself. So I know that we did not go all year because of the pandemic. We had some challenges. We were not able to do a full, full installation because I think uh, our board is just getting the tail end of it today. And then you probably will be having your elections, I think, another set of elections in September, if I'm correct, Ms. Barr. And so what I want to say to you and to the board that who have served, that I want to applaud you, the person who took up the presidents, the assistants, and your various positions. I want to say thank you. And Ms. Barr, I can assure you that come the fall um, in an open ceremony, I want to personally thank them in a special way, all right? By touching their hand, shaking their hand. Now, if they open up their hand and let it drop out, that's up to them, all right? But I want to touch them. I think we'll come back to them. And I think it's a disservice because of the pandemic, but I can, we have all some of the work on it, Ms. Barr, that I assemble 
particularly the board of directors and each one of these students in the room that we have a good session with them as the case may be. So we want to really roll it out. And um, so um, you will get certificates because some of you are being members um, and have not got a membership certificate. We can ensure that you have a membership certificate. And I'm sure Ms. Barr is working on that. Um, so Ms. Barr, we can make ensure that that happens. Although they might get an electronic, but we're gonna make sure that they get a hard. We'll print them out, Ms. Barr, we'll fix the way that they can have it. Um, Cause that's important. That's important in the way forward. 20 years from now, that certificate might mean a lot. When you're going to tell you somebody, yeah, you might become an MP, you might become a fine for a political party. And you might say, my community service started a long time under Ms. Barr. I think we can still find her. I will you find her. But this is significant right here. And Mr. Dean might be here. I think I passed him by the geriatric house, but I can stop Danny out. All right. He might be there. That's how long it can be. All right. So I may be somewhere. I don't know where I'll be, right? But um, I say that to say that these things are important. Don't take it for granted. Don't take your certificate for granted. That you keep it on your personal file. Update your personal file every day. You must keep your own file at home. This is your file about you. Because you're starting the life right now. Everything you do count now. Everything you do counts. So much bias is going to be important that we do functions to make sure they have certificates, make sure they have a letter of thank you, all these things to keep on their record, teach them how to keep personal record. They're building their CV early, not wait till they finish school to build it. They can build it right now. So I want to really commend the new board and I want to thank you for listening to my, my short words. I know I might've gone longer than you expected. And um, I'm looking forward with great anticipation of great things for you in the new year. So we just hope that things will go well and I'm sure it's gonna go well, but we want you to keep service above self. Take self away, it ain't about you getting paid. It ain't about you getting rewarded. Service the people. You can start the service. To, you might find a schoolmate who don't have lunch or who thinks is going rough for them. You see them with a uniform rather than laugh. A couple of the old intacts get together, save their lunch money and buy a skirt, buy a blouse, buy some books. That's what we are talking. That's the spirit I want to see the interactors take. The spirit, that love spirit, that you love one another, love everybody, love everybody in the club. Not because you're in president, love the president, show the president that you love him or her. Oh man, love them. Surprise them one day, say, president, you ain't got to pay for lunch today. I'm buying the lunch, all right? I'm buying the lunch. Ms. Barr, we the interactors club here. We have something special for you, Ms. Barr. Check in your car, where's your back trunk? Just flip the back trunk, Ms. Barr. Ms. Vegan, surprise you. Do think, do good, do good. Get in the spirit of doing good. What you make happen for others, God can make happen for you. So thank you on that note. Thank you, thank you. I hope whatever I said that you would have inwardly digested and that it would have done you some good. I must tell you, based on the expressions on your face, the atmosphere was so warm. You know some atmosphere you go in, you know some room that you walk in, it's so cold, you ask for an extra jacket to put on, right? But when I came in this Zoom site, it was so warm, it was so nice. I throw all them big jackets off and I have a good time, thank you. Okay, President Dean, such words of inspiration. They make me want to dance. They remind me of this little song that my daughter has in kindergarten. And it goes, we feel good. Oh, we feel so good. Woo. And they do that little dance. You make me want to get up and dance and sing. I mean, I just feel so good now because of your inspirational words. Thank you for that. But we're going to have to move along quickly. Right now, I'm going to show you I'm going to call the names of all of those um, who are members of the Interact Club, okay? For the year 2020, 2021, we began during COVID, but that didn't stop us from serving and exemplifying the motto, service above self, okay? Here we go. First up, we have our president, Lise Joseph. Okay, we have our Vice President, Joshona Williams. Next, we have DeAnastasia Hutchinson as our Secretary, followed by Joshua Exum, who is our Treasurer. Following him will be Treasurer Cleo. She is the Assistant Secretary 
LaShawn Rule, who is our fundraising director, Karen Simeon, she is the assistant fundraising director. Then we have our director of community service, Brianna Lloyd. Then we have our community, sorry, our club service director in the person of Ashlyn Pierre. Then we have our technology director in the person of Jonathan Hart. Then we have our Sergeant at Arms, Mr. Kinsley Francois. All of these students began in COVID. So this is one class. We began with one class with 15 members. And then as COVID, the restrictions started to lessen, we expanded the club. So I'd like to thank all of these members for their service to the club for the year 2020, 2021, okay? Moving on to our other members very quickly, still serving in grade 10, we have Nikita Verens, Rachel Lubin, Crystal Clark, Amaya Miller, Monish Joseph, Mishinda Joseph, and Catherine Lloyd. Also, Grace Santil, Deandra David. Now we have our 11 graders. Guess what? I was only going to keep it to grade 10, but grade 11 said, no, they don't want to be outdone. I went to the senior mistress. She said, grade 11 wants to serve. Let them know about it. Let them do it. And guess what? I The first community service that I gave them, grade 10 could not be on because they were doing a rotary webinar that day and grade 11 said, hey, we have afternoon classes, but afterwards we will go and help. And they rose to the challenge. And I'm so excited to have them on board with us now. Our grade 11 members are Toyel Adderley, Judney Pomzen, Shania Misik, Monisha Tassus, Andre Molly, Fantasia DeVoe, Christina Fernanda, Sharika Miller, Leah Duvenal, Whitney Churlis, Vernita Knowles, Arlinqua Russell, Daria Smith, Ricardo Joseph. And the last person on the list, Melusa Jean. Okay. Right now, we cannot read it together, but on behalf of all of the students, we are going to have the four way test, which will be read on your behalf by D. Anastasia Hutchinson. On behalf of all the Interact members, I will read the four way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Will it be fun? <laughs> That's a great addition. Okay. And on behalf of the students, we will have a response. Before, before you before you permit me, I had some of our club members in, and I will be a disservice if I don't mention their names. That all I know is in. We have um, Nadia. Um, who was our club administrator who's coming in. We have um, Chantel. Chantel is here. I know you've been communicating with Chantel. And we have um, Wayne Miller. Wayne Miller's in. And uh, Ebony, who will be, you'll be seeing some of more of her face because she's going to be, be assisting with this entire club. She'll be coming in with that. Um, so we are really glad to have them here, the Rotary Club members for Nassau. I may be missing one or two, but that's what I could identify quickly. Thank you, Ms. Ba. Thank you yes. so much, sir. Sandra I Walks is also on. She, she's oh. a Rotarian with RCN as well. Oh. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Thank you for joining. We appreciate all y'all joining in this meeting today. Thank you so much. We will now have a student response on behalf of the students by Andre Morley. Thanks to the Rotary Club of Nassau and its affiliates for their sponsorships and support. It was a wonderful initiative that will truly impact the lives of interactors. From the toast, thank you. From educating us on our club's history to the impactful speech by our esteemed president, thank you. Thank you to all who aid in ensuring this program was a success. 
and we look forward to your continuous support as we continue to put some, as we continue to put service above some. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. And I would just like, as we come to close this program, I would just like to reiterate the sentiments of, of gratitude expressed by Andre. First of all, thank you so much to DeAnastasia and Andre for doing an excellent job in moderating this program. Whether we are virtually or in person, they are always ready and they are always willing to step up to the plate and just do their part excellently. Thank you, Malusa, for always being there with the prayer. Thank you so much. It was an excellent prayer. Followed by the toast. Thank you, Ms. Nesbitt, for not only helping um, with the toast, but for helping to organize this event as well. Ms. Nesbitt, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. After the toast, we had our welcome. Oh my goodness, it was such a pleasure to work with Judy and Leah. I think they are two amazing young ladies who are going to go very far. Thank you for Judy and Leah. That was such a nice welcome that you did. Now, the history of the club, Ms. Francina Banaby, thank you so much. You know, you were there with us when COVID started. You've been there with us through it. You've been with us on some of our expeditions and adventures. You've been there every step of the way. Thank you so much for your support, Ms. Francina so much thank you for working with the club members and making sure that everything went as it should thank you thank you thank you thank you and when LaShawn said it was an angel with the transportation that we didn't have to pay well that angel was in the form of miss francina benaby thank you so much for being there for the interact club to our reflections i am such i'm not only a proud teacher i feel like a proud mother i mean they were expertly done superb job students even me i was like well look at here i mean i saw a new side of all of you i'm not only one of you all of you so guess what go lease go lashan go corinne and go christina i was <laughs> Yeah, I had to be like, oh, what is this going on? I mean, you all didn't act. Look here, I, I was sitting here like, wow, look at there. So students with the reflections, look here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all even have me, you know, I just can't get over it. I'm just so excited for you all. Thank you so much for participating and doing your part excellently, okay? Um, thank you, Andre for introducing the speaker and to Mr. Stephen Dean. Oh my, I still feel good. Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> Thank you for those words of inspiration. I am sure that the students um, will take your words and use it to impact their lives so that they may do good. Such a simple message with such profound meaning. Okay, just feel good. Feel good about yourself. Feel good about others. And when you feel good, many doors and opportunities will open to you. So Mr. Dean, um, we appreciate that message. And I don't know if I've ever told you, um, and you know, with the COVID, we've never been face-to-face -face like that, but we appreciate you, okay? We you. appreciate you truly um, for all of the awesome support that you have given. I don't think that there's anything I've ever asked for that you, that you have said no it's always, we will work on it. And you always work on it and you always come through for us. So President Stephen Dean, words are not enough. Okay, but for this moment, I hope that you feel the gratitude extended to you on behalf of the Interact Club. Thank you very much. And we appreciate all that you have done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. So that brings us to the end of this program. Um, it was excellently done. Thank you to all of the Interact members. We will have your certificates, like Mr. Dean said, those certificates will be important as you continue to market yourself, because that's what it is. Um, even though you do service from your heart, it also shows others the type of person you are. And the certificates and being involved, all of that is a testament, okay, to all that you have done, all that you would have done, okay? and help others to see you in a better light, okay? So we will try to have those certificates printed for you to give to you. You're seeing them across the screen virtually. 
If you need it virtually, just send me a little in the chat. You can send me your email. I can email it to you. But this brings us to the end of the program. I am so glad that, that we did it because my heart is full. It is full. I mean, I am so proud. And I just feel good, Mr. Dean. I feel yeah. good. That's the right spirit. That's the right spirit. You already kept it's infectious. It's infectious. So, good. <laughs> so to once again, to, to President Dean, to Ms. Benaby, to Ms. Nesbitt, everybody and all of the Interact members, everybody who worked together to make this event possible. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Before we leave, we have a few pictures that we would like to share with you of some of our of our trip to Sapadillo, where we meet, met Elaine Pinder, the proprietor. It was such a wonderful experience. All of the experiences we had this year, um, they were so great. They were so impactful. So LaShawn would just like to share screen um, for you to see a few pictures. And thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy the pictures. And as you get ready to leave, just view the pictures and you are now free to leave. Thank you so much. These photos are the photos that we took guys when we went to Sapadillo. of the presentation. Okay, thank you everyone. You're now free to leave.